we're gonna be talking about the fakes. Zip you want to begin how much demand this fucking video had. You guys already know, you guys already gave me a bunch of poop for it, so we're gonna just, we're gonna jump right in. Because there's a lot of things I gotta talk about and explain before I even talk about the jewelry. So basically, I'm only gonna be talking about the facial jewelry in this video. Any jewelry down below, I won't really be talking about that much. I don't know. So first things first, let's go ahead and talk about what this jewelry is called, because I'm a little bit tired of hearing horseshoe, stud, I don't know. You, you guys come up with, I don't know, there's some crazy names. Gauges, they're not called that. So let's go over some simple terms just to clarify some things and not only that, but if you do go into a shop, you don't really fuck up what you're gonna get and they understand completely what, like you have better communication if you guys get these things. So first things first, let's discuss what these pieces are called. Um, right here on my librette. Yes, I have a librette, not a vertical librette. The jewelry makes it look like I do have one. I have a circular barbell in there. Not a horseshoe. This is a um, cap the bead ring. Some people have circular barbells usually. That's how you see the ring and then the two ends right there. Circular barbell is that one. This one is a cap the bead ring with two front facing gems. These right here are the two front facing gems and that bead in the middle is the cap the bead. Then my cheeks and my high nostrils are both labrettes. Um, people usually have nostril screws in there, but I have a 14 gauge in my high nostrils because I am fucking crazy. I know. <laughs> um, but yes, you, you see the post usually, but the post and the bottom like this, the flat back, that little thing right there, yeah, the flat back, um, that is a librette. So, if it has two balls, it is a barbell. There's plenty of other terms, but just keeping it simple for this video, this is what it is and I also have eyelets in my ear. So, let's go ahead and talk about the materials that I have in my face. All of this is titanium. Hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo. It is anodized to blurple, and the stones that I have are opal and tazanite. Um, the tazanite is the purple that you see, and then I have light blue opal, I have green opal in my cheeks. Um, and then on my hips I have orange, blue, red, and green opal, I believe. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the size and the gauge of the jewelry that I am wearing and why, um, but I'm also gonna discuss how this is just for my body and that your body will probably be also different. So starting off my lip, it's a basic 16 gauge um, librette. That's, that's nothing really about it. I believe that it's a 3 8 or a little bit larger just because my lip is a little bit it's bigger than what I thought it was. I thought I had a small bottom lip, but apparently it's pretty fucking huge, so. Coming up to my cheeks. I have five eighths in my cheeks right now, and I am talking about length. Sorry. It's a 16 gauge, but I used to be... I used to be wearing 7 16ths way too tight. Um, for some reason, my cheeks filled up. Oh, I gained weight. My cheeks started filling up, so I had to go up to 5 8 So that's why I'm that size now. But not only that, but each cheek is different. This side, this bar is a little bit longer than this. I don't know. It's so hard to talk about this and everything because sizing and all that should really be left to your piercer and how your body works versus how. I, it works for my body, you know, so telling you telling you these sizes won't really help, but I know I'm gonna get these questions anyway, so I'm just answering them. Moving up is my septum piece. Um, it is 10 gauge. I did stretch my septum to a 10 gauge. Uh, no, that was not fun, but it, it was a process. I mean, I didn't do it improperly, but I don't know. Something about stretching my septum freaked me out and I don't know, something with septum, ah, I can't stand it, I can't stand it. So yes, 10 gauge, and then, ooh, damn, I think it's 7 sixteenths for some reason. Um, but not like it matters, it's just snug for the way that my nose fits, so it's not like you would want that on your face, because I'm sure our sizes and noses are completely different, so, but yes, that is probably what the size is. Ha <laughs> 
And then up here, um, these are still healing piercings. These are little itty bitty babies. So the bars are extremely long. Um, if I push them in completely, they just paddle on my septum a little bit. But they are high nostrils and I have a large enough nose to have a double set of double nostrils, what the fuck? Quad set. Um, I guess I could say, and um, yeah, I, I won't really talk much about those just because they're not healed yet. Um, but they are 14 gauge and they are whatever length that they are. I believe that they're 3 8 right now, but that's just because they're still healing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and in my ears, I have a double zero for gauge and it's a single flare with a O-ring on the back. So. Nothing too great about those. These are also titanium, uh, but they are uh, anodized oil slick, and I believe, oh fuck, I forgot what company they're from. I bought them so long ago, so don't know that company. Uh, but this all right here is a nanometal, and so are my hips. I love a nanometal. I don't know why, but I'm, I just really like opal, and if you love opal, a nanometal just kind of seems like the place to go. So that's really it. Now talking about the experience with a nanometal, because I know I'm going to get a bunch of questions. Um, yes, it takes a while to ship. I believe I waited three months, four-ish maybe, just to get this whole set. They just messed up one order, which was, these were supposed to be three millimeters, um, three millimeter tazanite balls on my uh, circular barbell, but I got four millimeter tazanite and they're actually bezeled. So, I'm not really throwing a fit, I'm just throwing in another order from them, because, hey, I could use 16 gauge four millimeter tazanite for another, I could put it on my cheeks at some point, so it's not like it's a waste, and I don't know, I don't know, I just can't hate an model at all. <laughs> the reason why I have this right here is because the well, the top ball fell off, so I had a replacement of the Tazanite. So, it looks a little bit odd, I'm a little bit over it, but I'm going to be changing this jewelry often anyway, so it's not like it's a problem or anything. I believe that's everything. If you have any questions about what types and stuff like that that I forgot to say or anything like that, go ahead and ask. It's it's completely fine, I understand that this is really confusing for people that are like, I'm gonna go to Hot Topic, or I'm gonna go to Claire's. If I already commented or answered a question below, please try reading first just so I don't get a million of the same question, and I know I'm gonna get a crap ton about my high nostrils, but just believe me, I am not answering anything about them until they heal, and I have that bomb ass jewelry that I want for them, so you're gonna have to fucking wait. Come, yo, titties. Um, but yeah, that's where I got my jewelry. I absolutely love it. So I'm now I'm gonna get asked for some other places. Um, there's the Nano Metal, Industrial Strength, Neo Metal. There's Diablo Organics. There's Gorilla Glass. There's a lot of websites. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Now focus. Pay attention. There is a website called Body Art Forms that you can get this jewelry from, but. I recommend going to a piercer and getting the proper size and exactly what you want because they can help you. They can help you exactly for what you want. If you go online and you don't really know much, believe me, jewelry is a whole nother world. It is completely, it's like a whole fucking nother world. It sucks, so just go to a piercer, talk to them, see first if they can even go to the website or order from the website that you want to order from, whether it's an automotive industrial strength or anything like that. Uh, just go up to them say, I would like this piece, you know, you could even draw it out, be like, I want it like this, I want the gems to be like this, a little more flat, and they can just make it perfect for you. I just really don't want you guys spending money on jewelry that doesn't fit you right, I don't know, because that's, that's the most painful thing, waiting all this time and getting a piece and it's just like, this is what I fucking wanted. You can even go to a piercer, find out what you need, and then go online yourself with the information that they gave you fill out the form, and then it'll show you what jewelry you can buy. But believe me, you have a lot more fucking choices going up to a piercer saying you want this piece, they order it for you, or maybe they already have it. And they give it to you, and you got some bomb ass shit. And that's all I'm really gonna be talking about. I hope this video kinda helped you guys understand body jewelry a little bit more. I know this is a lot to take in, and you don't really see people online with Good jewelry, unless you know where to look. I love jewelry. I that is like my fucking porn. I stare at that shit all day, and it always looks like it just makes jewelry and piercings look so much 
nicer and different. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you have any questions, because I know I didn't cover all the bases for this, um, go ahead and ask down below. And I hope you guys have an amazing week, and I hope you guys are starting off the year fucking fantastic. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Yeah.